Hi sisters, it's Jen. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're not, welcome back. And maybe my intro gave you a little clue what this video is about. So unless you're living under a rock, you may have heard of James Charles and you may know that he has a palette out and it's been a little while since he's actually had it out, but it has been extremely sought after. Um, I waited to try to obtain it until after the holidays, so that is exactly what I did. Um, I was able to get it from Ulta, which um, it is sold out again on Ulta, and I believe it's also sold out on the Morphe website. Um, use If you do go to Morphe, make sure you use James's code, James, for 10% off. Um, but let's unbox it. Um, I only slice it open and this was inside this part. So let me see if I can get it out. It's actually, I'm a little concerned because see how it's like, it's like wedged in the box. So I'm gonna like try to get it out. Okay, and here's my receipt. Oh wow, so, oh, I'm a little, like it's kind of messed up a little bit, the box, that's sad. Uh, but, um, if you do watch James's channel, like, he did a version of, like, a fake palette, um, versus his palette, and I highly recommend you look at that, especially if you're trying to buy it on another medium, which I also don't recommend. Um, the palette will eventually be back, I'm sure, in stock, so hopefully this is not damaged. I really, really like the packaging and as you know I'm not a beauty guru but I absolutely do love makeup and I do love myself a good palette um he has a little greeting on the back and it's with his name and everything and it's really cute I'm sure you've seen a million unboxings and the palette does come with a bubble wrap which is super nice and oh, voila, it is such a large palette and we have it in black on the front and on this side, it just says Art, Artistry Palette. Um, I believe all the ingredients and everything are on the bottom here. Make sure you read this because there has been a little bit of controversy over like the eyeshadow versus the pressed pigments. Um, pressed pigments should not go in your eye. Um, and for some people, like... They have a reaction, so make sure you do. And I know there are some pressed pigments in this palette, which actually is one of the reasons I'm looking forward to it because I love trying new and crazy things. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, so this, I will say this is, I, I know I'm going to lose this, but I'm going to do my best because I want to swatch these for you on this video. So let's get started because it's going to take a little while. So I'm gonna do the first three, which we have canvas, ring light, and so good. So these I think I will probably use the most. Oh, I don't think I swatched them good. Um, I think this one, ring light, I will use a ton. Um, I have a very odd complexion. Um, I, my arms are kind of darker than my face. I have a very red face. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing this justice. So let's go into the next three to swatch here. And these are, let me try to get a little more here. We've got 518 rusted and Halloween so I will end up using these as well I think because I really like heated oh wow um I do like heated colors and um so I have to say that rusted would be a little bit different for me to use and so would 518, which is this one right here. Um, but, and I'm horrible at swatching, so, hmm, sorry. You get the gist. Okay, so then I'm gonna do the last two in this row, which are wig and tea, which I will 100% use. Let me see here. 
Ooh, yes. Okay. Really love these two. I'm a bad swatcher, so it doesn't really do it justice. But these are very pigmented, and I think they're going to work really great on my eyes. Okay, so then the next row, let's go there. We have Punch Me, Sister, and Mary. And again, these are my neutral colors that are going to be my go-to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do them here. Okay, yes. Um, the middle one didn't come out so good. Again, I love these. These are great. I will definitely use them. And then the next three, okay, the one in the middle scares me. Um, literally, you're kidding and shook. So you're kidding scares me, James. Yes, you're kidding. However, I am going to be open. And I'm not putting a ton on my fingers, so I apologize. I, I mean, I am just not, I, I'm not very good at this. Ooh, oh, whoa, holy moly. Okay, that is that is awesome. Love them. Love them. Sister, love them. Okay. You're kidding. It scares me still. Okay. Then the last two in this row are Boutique and Benny, which I can tell you as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, James, this is fantastic. I mean, when other people swatch them, you're like, yeah, whatever. When you swatch them yourself, it's like, really? That's awesome. Like them. I am actually really looking forward to using Benny. Um, I like to go into the dark shades, so that's going to be fun. So now we're going into the third row of the palette, which is right here. Let's go do that. So we have flashback, like flashback, man. Um, face and tune. Um, tune scares me, but that's okay. We'll be all right. And I don't think there's any reason for me to be scared because it actually doesn't look bad on my skin cone. So there you go with that. Um, I think those are really nice neutral -y shades. And then we have Co James. 10% off and no beans, which also are like heated colors, which I'm a huge fan of right now. So let's do the heated colors. Yes. Awesome. Um, I have a mini na Urban Decay Naked palette with like the heated colors. So I may not even need that palette anymore, I have to say. And so then we're going to go with the um, last color in the, which is spooky. And I love me a black eyeshadow or a face product. And yes, spooky is awesome. There you go. All right. So we're going to do this. <laughs> we're going to do this side of my arm. <laughs> Run that space. Um, but that's okay. So the second to last row is B, Guac, and Hello. We're going to do those three. This is going into a territory I love to play with when I do my makeup. Not a territory that a lot of people will say they love, but I love it. So I know B is a little more pigmented than that. I just didn't press very hard. I love these. Um, I love playing with blues. So the next three are Playground, Brother, and Artistry, which I can tell you Artistry, which is this purpley color, is something I'm going to play with all the time. Yeah, that would be awesome. That, I feel like I have a rainbow on my arm, which is totally cool. The last two in that row are Love That, and Pinkity Drinkity, which I think Pinkity Drinkity is really going to be nice too because I'm just going to do them right here before I start this next row. Yeah. I think Pinkity Drinkity is going to be a really nice blending color. And then this color here, which is, love that. Um, I think that will be a really nice color to blend in 
with the pinkity drinkity and some of these other like purpley blue shades. I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have fun with this palette for sure. Okay, so let's get to the last, I feel a little all decorated, the last row, which is here on the palette. So we have Social Blade. Okay, so greens, I don't play with a lot of greens. We're getting into some green territory here. Social Blade, Daddy, and Cape Cod. And I know some of these are pigments, so let's see how that goes. Ooh, Cape Cod. Oh, okay, so James, I, yay. Okay, there we go. I am loving these. Those are nice. It's hard to see, I apologize. We're, we're doing like um, the inside of my arm. It's like, well, I do love those. Okay, now we're gonna do the next three, which are also blues. These, I think, maybe pigments. We've got cola, which is a blue, which is weird, I guess, because I wasn't expecting that. Acapella and Escape. Loving the purple, loving it. So we're gonna do that here on my arm. Ooh. So Escape is the purple. This is Cola right here. Um, I, Cola intimidates me a little bit. And so does Acapella. Blues and greens in like this format are a little intimidating, but I will play with it. Okay, so two more left. Single and Skip. Whew. Skip is very bright. However, I feel like it's an 80s type of vibe. When I'm in, woo, oh wow, yeah. Okay, we're gonna, I can't, it's like I can't turn my arm. Oh my God, it's like, holy moly. Okay, this isn't working. You cannot see it, it's right here. Let me do, let me do this again. Cause I made, I like made a big boo-boo. Okay, there we go. I like them. I, okay, I've never done neon. And by the way, all of these feel really nice. I do have to say that. Very nice on my skin. And it's different for sure. Um, the only thing I will say, I'm going to have to clean these off. I will, I wish these, and I know other people have said this, were on the palette. Because it was kind of like, I would have like paused to tell you what the names were. I think this just replaced probably most of the palettes I have. Um, I don't have that many more palettes because I have been throwing away old palettes lately. Um, I do like to do my makeup for work. Um, I don't always wear makeup. I'm not a beauty guru. Um, my skin gets really dry, but I do love to play with eyeshadow. And I think what James did here with this palette is just gave people the opportunity to live a little with makeup. And I don't think it's targeted to any one type of person because there is a little bit of everything in this palette. Um, I used to be an Urban Decay junkie and now like this may have gotten me into being a Morphe junkie because I like the formula. Even the pigment ones, um, which I didn't really look to see exactly which ones. Okay, Rusted. Mary, you're kidding, Boutique, Benny, Tune, B, Brother, Artistry, love that, Pinkity Drinkity. Okay, so yeah, some of the ones that I thought maybe. Um, but the other nice thing about me doing this is if I did have a reaction of some sort, I will be able to tell. I feel so rainbowy. But thank you so much, Sister James, for putting something like this together. I love it. It is so diverse and different from other things that I have tried. I cannot wait to put this on my eyes and really play with it. The packaging is great. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button below. I just recently changed my channel channel name to Inevitable Life because life is inevitable. And also, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram at Inevitable Life of. I had to add a word because someone already had Inevitable Life. But 
things are going to be changing a little here on my social media. I do hope you liked this review of James's palette. Keep on the look for it because I'm sure if you haven't grabbed it, it will be available soon. Just be patient. Don't buy a fake one because there's a lot out there. So thanks again for watching. Have a good one.